Okay guys, today we have a PlayStation 4 hack, which I've been doing. And amazingly, I've got some success with this one. And yay. <laughs> Amazing. Right. But um, I had to get the 5.0.5 uh, update. Now, I couldn't find it anywhere, but I managed to get it from the site that's just behind here. Which is... S C E party on their firmware page. So what we do is go to that site there, which links in the description, and go to firmwares and you scroll down and it's got all the firmwares, amazing. It's even got the latest. But what you're looking for is this one, 5.05. .05. When it comes up it will have the stack ID. Download from here. If it doesn't download on there and let's try it on this. No. Eventually we'll download for This isn't a troll or anything like that. Anyway, after a while it did actually download. And that's the site where I got it from. You can see it's in here, it's in the PS4 file, and then make a folder called update, and then make a that and put it into there. I don't know why it's not working today, but still. Um, so I've got it twice there, just to make sure. Now, also I've got this, which is the self-hosting exploit, but unfortunately on mine it's not actually working. Saying DNS server is running, error, could not start server. There's another program, TCP80. And what you're meant to do is put your resource manager up in your Windows. Well, did we know about that? I didn't. And then you can scroll it down to listening ports. And if you look through here, be able to find your port 80 somewhere. So the system is listening here and here. I've got them allowed and not restricted because I've let them through the firewall. But unfortunately, it's still not really helping. So I don't understand that because there's the exploit and it's actually running. I don't get it. Anyway, what we find out on this exploit is it's all done on your PlayStation 4, which is amazing. You just basically turn on PlayStation 4, you put some DNS servers in there, which would be as follows. Go to your internet settings, set up your internet, you go... Um, Wireless or wireless, allow, 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 and then when you get to BNS, uh, sorry, DNS settings, you select manual. You type in these, primary is 165.227.8315, and your secondary DNS2, or vice versa. So you can have them either way. Once they're in there, you test the internet connection, and it will say failed, as I will show you in a moment. Um, but then when you run it on your um, PlayStation, you'll find when it does actually work. So without further ado, let's get over to the PlayStation. Right then, um, as I say, back onto the outside world. So you just eject the drive. Eject. So to remove drive. Right then, PlayStation 4 drive out. PlayStation 4. Right in PlayStation 4. Back to the computer screen. Let's put it on HDMI first. Start the PlayStation. Right then, PlayStation started after a small cut. I made a new user, just called it Han because of that's what we do on PlayStation 3. Now, as you can see, we have the games. On PlayStation 2. 
the test application so you can see it went in so how you do this is you go to um, options go to settings go up to user helpful guides that's X and then instead of user guides you'll come up with this useful little screen which is the hack isn't that cool but what you see what I have done as well in the settings I've changed the settings and when you put the internet connection it will say internet connection failed you cannot connect to the internet now that is okay because as you saw earlier it does so what you have to do on this though when you first do it is internet connections internet connection use the LAN cable use custom and then the IP is automatic your DC, DHCP is automatic, your DNS settings are manual, your DNS settings is that. So we showed earlier 165.227.83.145 and 108.61.128.158. Secondary and normal. Go to next. And then the next one is automatic and proxy you do not use unless you're using one test for connection success and failed so you're like oh shit it's failed but don't worry about that I say then go back up to the settings go back up to the user guide user guide and say again this will load over to 5.05 because that's the one we just installed and actually worked. Now you can load the Linux, you can block the updates, you can use a dumper, but we're going to use the hen. Click the hen, you get this screen, and hopefully it won't fail. Plus, first time I've done this, it actually turned my um, PlayStation off. And then it wouldn't come back on and I had to do the hold for power button thing. Anyway, once you've got to this screen, you can come back out. And then you can go back into settings. Scroll all the way down this time. And you'll see there's debug settings come up. Click debug settings, then you get your know, top option is game. Yeah, you can go to anti package installer, click the install packages, and then it's all on your um, drive. It's that Duplex Trainer package, I'm a bit worried about installing it. And as you can see down there, is the test packages, what we've got installed, and for games. I think 207 was the one. Just click that. It goes installing. Back out with the key. And then you can see we've got the Gradius game as well. Unfortunately, Gradius doesn't work on the emulation. It's a shame. Might leave it on there until it does. But Dragon Dex, Ico, and Tekken all work fine. Let's see if that download works as well. I'm not giving it much hope. Right, scroll down again. Game. Package installer. Don't like it, but let's try it. That's installed. Go back out. It looks like it installed. Let's try it. Shit. 
Yeah, it did install. So that one worked. It's a bit small though, so I thought it weren't going to work. Let's see with Ico. Yeah, OK, stop the playing software. OK, that was for screen we put in. Let's play a button. Go over to Gradius because we have to say we just made that one. Right, so this software is going to close when you choose the next game. Gradius, that's what we just had to look at on the screen. We just made the game. PlayStation 2. But unfortunately, it's just a black screen game. No panic in though because you just pick up your pad again. Come back out of it. And there we have it. <clears throat> okay, hope you've enjoyed this 20 minute video. Um, if you like, uh, please leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And if you would like to, subscribe for more. I do this every now and again, but my videos are always kind of like they are. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll see you all again in the next video, and I'll catch you then. Bye for now. Have a good one. I've managed to get a few things sorted out. Um, been trying this PS2 Classics converter. You can convert the PlayStation 2 games into package files. PKGs. Um, when you set it up, you get the games. This game didn't work, Gradius. But we do is you. Um, Go to the PlayStation 2 Classics GUI. Which is that? Okay, I've lost sound on this. So what you need to do is select your ISO first. Um, there's your ISO there for Gradius. Then you download some covers off the internet for Gradius. Or whatever game you've got and um, select them see that's the game there and then you select the background screen and you select the background you just decided to download which is the Gradius logo in my case then once everything's there select start package installer find a folder to put it in I put it into the same folder for the um, PlayStation 2 games we're in, as you can see there, Hit OK, and then after a while it will make a file, just there, you'll see it popped up at the bottom, it should be the same meg as your game, obviously you're going to need to dump your game and you can do that with a PlayStation disc and image burn, which is a great little program. So what we're doing now is we're finding the file and we're popping it over to our memory card. But I'm pissing around yet again. I hate when I do this. <laughs> I just lose track of things. There we go. Memory card. There it is there. Showing the pup update what I got. Now, what we do, we drag over the game we've just created, which is a PlayStation 2 game, and that will upload to the memory card. Takes some time, but in my case, I got myself a 64 gigabyte memory card for PlayStation only, and I think it cost about £17 a minute for 64 gig. 
Um, got that from Tesco's actually, so that's a pretty good place to go right now, having a sale on there. Right, and that's in there. Now I'm just pissing around trying to find some other crap. Um, what am I doing? I don't know. Fucking hurry up. Um, I can see why people like... Oh. I don't like this video. <laughs> well, this is actually quite interesting. Hopefully you're following what's going on on the screen. Oh, yeah. I'm putting that Terrania game in there. I found Terrania on... Um, <laughs> download. And um, stuck it into the folder there after it downloaded and it was only like 100 meg and I was thinking that's not going to work that's some sort of virus but we'll see if it works in a minute that's the proof of it yeah it looked dodgy to me as well I can't even remember what side it was from um, 